You must be dang freezing. There, girl. Hello, Arthur. You okay? You ever miss home? Sure. All the time. Hey there. You did good, girl. an old Driscoll. Always an old Driscoll. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Well, all you proved is, uh, how quickly you'll turn on your friends. No, no, it ain't like that. I, I, uh, I only rode with them for a while. Yeah, you might have Dutch fool. But, um, <laughs> I'm watching you. All right. Getting good with that skinning knife, I see. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. So, you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered up. Hey. Okay, Mr. Morgan. You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Well, that looks like a decent pelt. Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? Yes, finally about done cleaning up after that party. Sean does not do things by half. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right then, Arthur. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. While we were stuck up that mountain, I thought long and hard I hope we'd have to eat Very amusing. Fine, but make sure you get a good price I suggested price we roasted for. you alive, but Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into Just stew. in time, Mr. Morgan. He said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he had good to. Good time, Mr. Morgan. You're quite the amusing companion, aren't you? Well, I like to think so. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train. Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? 
Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. You gonna freeze your acorns off dressed like that? Hello, Arthur. I'll go. What you got going on? Nothing much. I'll do some goddamn work then. Come on, don't start this. Take it easy, I'm just needling you. Well, do it with someone else. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Benny. John. Hey, hey Arthur. John. Now, one that sounds sincere. We well, said it, didn't I? Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on, you ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. and easy. Don't worry. I already sent a wire to the doctor for you. Ow. Now, watch and learn. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Jose? Mm. Ah. Ain't gonna last. See what you got. I'll shoot Pearson for this. So, this is how I do it.
Be well. Look after Bye. that hand.
I'll see what I can do. Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank well, you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> you need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? Okay, I girl. live there. No problem. travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I, I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. Yeah, good girl. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Slow down, please. Hey, hey! That's a good girl. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me... is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Close now, just a little further. You doing good, girl. Sorry, girl. <laughs> Hell is your problem. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. 